Good morning. This is Susie and I'm cooking as I promised on Thursday inside of Royal Ruby, my van, my minivan. And I am bringing you a recipe today that we're going to prepare in the three quart Instapot, which is a great little tool to use in your minivan. Um, it can cook anything. You can saute in it, you can steam in it, you can warm things up in it. It's like having a little microwave in your van as well because it's, it's a really awesome little, little product. Now I use a Jackery 1000, so that pretty much powers it. Right now, just to give you an idea as to how much power it uses, I'm at 94% on my Jackery 1000 right now before we initiate the, the build or the, um, the recipe. Okay, so this is green beans and potatoes and I'm cooking with a red potato. I just sliced it in half. I'm gonna add some onion to the recipe, um, some water, because you gotta have at least inside your pot, it tells you with the three quart, there's a half a car, cup mark and a two third cup mark. You have to have at least a cup of water when you're cooking with the instant pot. So you wanna have liquids because you're cooking under pressure. The three quart uses about 10, I think it's 10.4 PSI. The six and the eight quart are a little higher. They're cooking at like 11. Four, I think or 11.5 so you may have to increase uh, your pressure time if you're using a recipe that is using a six quart pot and you may have to cut your recipe in half depending on the amount of ingredients that are in the instant pot for instance uh, if I was going to make the cornbread today which I'm not going to make today I'll make that a, another video I would probably decrease because I'm going to use my PIPs which is a pot in pot method and I'll show that to you the day that I do that video but I won't have enough room in my pot to do the um, uh, larger recipe. So anyway, that's what's going on. So let's get started, okay? So first of all, it's all plugged in. As you can see, it's plugged in back here um, to my jaggery. And I'm gonna turn my power on to my AC. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the liquids. So I have water in my Yeti, which I also have a sink here that I could use, but I've run this through my Berkey. So I always like to use purified water. So I'm gonna pour the recommended amount of water in here. Okay, I probably could use a little more, but for now we'll work with that. I'm gonna add in My onions, which I've already chopped. That saves you a lot of time when you pre-chop your your um, vegetables and stuff. And now I'm going to add in my potatoes. I have a lot of potatoes here. I don't think I'm gonna use them all. I think I'm gonna use maybe, I don't know, maybe half of them. I still got to add my green beans, which I've already um, strung. So I'm going to add my green beans into my pot. I probably won't use all these. Either. I don't know, maybe I will. Because that's stirred around, see how much room you have. I think I can add a little water. I think I'm going to add a little water. I still have, you know, a couple. So yeah, at this point, I'm going to add a little more water because I think I just need a little more. Because remember, you have to have at least a cup of water. So I'm going to add a little more water in there. Some of your vegetables do release water, like mushrooms and things like that. So the rule isn't as strict. If you have mushrooms in your recipe and you're not quite at a cup of water, those vegetables do release some water, so you'll be okay with that. The other thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you my spices that I, um, how I carry my spices when I'm vanning. I use a little pill box, and I have the most important spices that I use when I'm traveling. Of course, salt is at the top of the list. I have kosher salt and sea salt. I'm gonna use some sea salt in here. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit in here. And now I'm going to add some pepper. Let's have a little here so I use the rest of that. 
and some Italian seasoning. Nah, I don't know. I think I'll skip the Italian seasoning. What else do I have here? A little crushed red pepper. Why not? Take it up a notch, just like Emerald, huh? Take it up a notch. We're cooking with some spice. Not too much, though. And I already have onion in there, but I'm going to add a little garlic powder. That's the beauty when you're camping. If you don't want to carry, like, your onion and your garlic, if you don't want to have to chop stuff up, just carry your dry spices. And these little pill boxes are great because you can click them shut. I still store them like this because you never know. They might open up and then you're going to have a mess. But yeah, they're really awesome. Now I'm just going to stir it up. I added a little more water just because... Remember, we're at 94%, guys. And now the piece of the resistance. This is the pork hock, ham hock. So you want to add the ham hock to your beans. And I just get a small one for this recipe because it's basically just to flavor the beans. It's not going to give you any meat. And I'm uh, a paleo uh, person, so I don't eat ham or pork. I just like the flavor. So you just pop that in there, stir it in, like that. I have a little bit of, I don't know if I have too much liquid in there. Let me, let me just scoop a little of this liquid out. Because I don't want to have it too far above that line. You can't go above the line. thing about this is I'm taking some of my yeah I'm about at the line now I think you don't want to go above that line guys because it's pressure and you don't want to have liquids come out the sides so I lost a couple onions I'm going to try to put them back in here I really like onions You guys will not believe how easy this is to use when you're in your van. I mean, it's just so much better than, you know, having to cook over a flame. It's not as hot. You know, depending on whether you guys are having, like today, it's pretty hot out. So this is just so much nicer. All right. And as you can see, I got my handy paper towels hanging here. My refrigerator is right here. If I need anything out of it, I just pop it up. Don't need anything right now, so we're good. And then I have this cute little tray table. So when I'm done with my film, I'll get a bowl of beans out for you and show you how good they look. But for right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the cooking process. So, I'm gonna put my son, my reading glasses on so I can see my 62 I gotta wear these okay so first you're gonna put your 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 pot on now the thing about the instant pot is there's two settings there's steam and there's venting normally your recipe is gonna call you to cook for maybe 20 minutes and natural release for 10 minutes which means you're just gonna vent it for 10 minutes but when you're cooking, you want it to be set at steam because that's what's holding that steam in that pot so that it cooks the food. So you make sure it's set at steam. Then you have this little thing on the side. It says open, close. So close goes to the right. There you go. So now we're closed and you heard that little noise. Now we're gonna look here. What do we wanna do? We got. Soup broth, meat stew, bean chili, slow cook, saute, pressure level, delay, keep warm, cancel, pressure cook. We're going to do pressure cook. And you can set your time here. We're going to do 20 minutes on pressure, on high pressure. Got to make sure I'm on high pressure. I think I'm on high pressure. So now it's going to on and it's starting the process. Now, when you first come up the pressure, that's when you're going to use the most power. 
So your jackery is going to absorb more power those first couple minutes of cooking because that's when it's bringing the unit up to pressure. Once it reaches pressure and it's just cooking, you're, you're hardly going to use any wattage at all. So you'll notice that, you know, and I'll keep an eye on it. Right now I'm drawing 594 watts because I am going up to pressure right now. So the jackery is using about 594 watts. So guys, we're going to let that cook and I'll come back to you when it's done. See you soon. Welcome back everybody. We have finished our cooking of our green beans and potatoes. We've used about 74% of the jackery. We were at 94%, now we're at 74%. So you've come down about 20% with your usage of the um, Instapot because you have to remember those first few minutes, I would say at least 15 minutes. Now I had it set to high power. When you're cooking with high power, high pressure, obviously it's gonna use more wattage. If you're using low pressure, certain recipes only like your rice and stuff only need like medium pressure, you're not gonna use that much power on your jackery. But I was cooking with high pressure and I waited for it to come up to power, which I told you earlier, I was at 589 to 590 watts while it was reaching the pressure. So that takes a good 15 to 20 minutes to come up to pressure. Once it comes up to pressure, then it goes on your little dial, it'll say the time that you set it to cook for, which mine was 20. So then it goes beep and it goes to 20 and then it'll start cooking for 20 minutes under that pressure. So I did that. So altogether it was about 40 minutes for that. And then I allowed a 10 minute um, release period, a uh, natural release. So what I did is I just left it in the pot coming down off the of pressure for 10 minutes and then I vented it which releases the steam and usually what I do is I'll take my spoon and I'll just kind of tap this thing here and it'll vent because that pressure is going to come out hot so you don't want to use like your hand you want to use like a you know something with a long like something like this to release your pressure it's already released so now we could take the lid off and it's bubbling hot inside of there guys and now we're going to see how they look. I'm going to scoop some of these bad boys out of here. Get some potato. And the ham hock is still in there. And if you'd want to, you could take that ham hock out. And you could, and there they are guys, green beans and potatoes. They look beautiful. They're perfectly cooked. I'll show you the potato. You literally can, these little sporks, they have like a little blade on the side of them. So you can cut with the fork. But if you look how gentle it goes through that potato, it totally cuts right through that potato. Your beans are cooked perfectly. The broth is, it has a nice, you can see where the pork has cooked into the broth. Now you could do all kinds of things at this point. You can make your cornbread. You could have made that yesterday and you can have a nice slice of cornbread with a, piece, a little bit of butter on it. Um, but I'm gonna take some seasoning. I'm gonna put a little more salt on my beans because I just like a little salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little salt. And that's about it. I already had enough pepper on there. And guys, they're very hot, so. <laughs> You don't want to just dig right in. You want to give it time to, I might just cut up my potatoes a while. But like I said, if you want to get that pork, a uh, piece of pork out and try to cut some meat off of there, I'm not a meat person with, I mean, I eat meat, but I don't eat pork or ham too often. Um, you could also take a little piece of ham and just throw a little slice of ham in there, cut it up and, or you don't even have to cut it up, just put it in there and cut it up when it's done. Okay, so let me see here, guys. I'm gonna get some beans, I'm gonna get some potato. Gotta blow it really good, because it is hot. Oh, my. Mm. It is really, really good. I think my neighbors all <laughs> smell it, yeah. I'm smelling this whole neighborhood up really good here. Smells just like your mama's kitchen. Um, anyway, here's some more. Mmm, what do you think of that? Did you blow it? Because it's hot. Blow it real good. 
Yeah, I'm really funny about burning my mouth. <laughs> mm. At this point, you would take this whole pot out. You want to have some pot holders, obviously. But you can lift this whole pot out. It's not that hot right now. Just lift the whole pot out, take it to your picnic table, and you can serve it right from the pot. So that makes it fun, too. You hardly have any cleanup, you know? You don't have any pots or pans to clean up. You're just basically taking that whole pot and carrying it to the table. I'm just using a little ladle because this spoon here was nice to stir with. These are silicone, by the way, these spoons that I'm using. But yeah, this is really, really good. I probably maybe should have added the Italian seasoning. Mm. Cornbread. Definitely need cornbread. But, I mean, just look at that. I'm gonna give you a good look at it. Look at those beans. Look how perfectly cooked they are. I mean, the potatoes are just falling apart. I mean, they're still staying together, so they're not going to mush in the pot, but they're they're literally perfect. Mm. Oh, guys, that's what's for supper in Susie's kitchen. Mm. So real quick, I want to show you something different. I wipe my mouth. <laughs> Make sure I don't have any black pepper in my teeth. But anyway, what I want to show you guys also is a thing called Tidy Board, which I bought for my van. I use it at home. I use it in my sticks and bricks, but I really like it in the van because it's a bamboo cutting board. That's what you have here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me back a little bit so you can see it. It's bamboo. And what's cool about it, it has this little insert on the side. It's like a little hole kind of here. So you buy, you can get with it. I bought the whole kit. You get these different containers that can fit inside of here. So this one here is has holes in the bottom. So it's obviously like a colander. But here's what makes these so cool is they literally collapse. So they're collapsible silicon dishes so these don't take up hardly any room in the van but then they pop out when you want to use them so for now what you could do is you also get this this one that does not have holes in the bottom okay it also collapses just like this you put that in first put that in there it sits right inside that groove and then you can put this inside of there so now you're chopping on your cutting board here and you're just putting stuff into here and then you can rinse it off with water right inside of here. Just take your sprayer, rinse it off because you don't need, you know, I don't need to purify the water to clean them off, I don't think. I just spray that off. And now I have my vegetables clean and I can use them for cooking. It also has these two dishes and this also has a lid. So if you want to store something, which in the van, this isn't practical, but it's still nice to see that you do have a lid. So if you're in your sticks and bricks, you could put this lid on and just stick this right in the refrigerator. But you also get these cute little containers that also collapse. You get two of these, which are solid on the bottom, and they also fit in here. So you could line those up here, and you also get the one that has holes in the bottom. So this is also like a colander. So if you don't have a lot of vegetables, you could just cut them up and put them in there. And you know, after you're done cutting them here on the board, put them in here, rinse them off. And this is more smaller, so you do have a lid for this as well. So you can stick this in your little fridge and it has a little lock seals on the side and store whatever leftovers you have. Like if I have leftover green beans, I can store them in there. But you do get two of the solids. The whole kit with two of the, the, these, these all collapse. These little things all collapse into small little, small little thin pieces. You get two of these solid bottom ones, which collapse. 
you get one of these small colanders and you get two lids. And you also get the salad and the colander. That all comes with the tidy board for $89. So it's a cool idea. Now it works good for my van because I have this cool little table that I can just sit this on top of and cut up and prepare my stuff and put it right into my containers on the side. But you might not have that kind of room in your van, so this might be too big for you. But it easily stores anywhere because it's flat. It has these cute little silicon legs on it, so it's not going anywhere. It keeps it really secure and has a little ledge on it so you won't be putting water and juicy stuff. If you're cutting up a watermelon, it won't be going all over the place. So yeah, that's my video for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed cooking with Ruby today. Susie Ruby? <laughs> I don't know. It's Royal Ruby, guys. My son said Susie Sunshine the other day, which is kind of weird. I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't really know about that. I'm not always sunshine, but anyway. This is the recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be doing a cornbread video. If you like the video, please like it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. So subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more recipes like this one, I also post all kinds of van ideas and different gadgets for the minivan, different things to make your life easier when you're in the van. So please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you know when I post my next video. God bless you. I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.